do you think you can't manifest? Have you been working diligently on manifesting for a while, but it hasn't happened for you? I've got you, so don't worry. I will talk about a concept from Neville Goddard's book that will connect all the dots for you. The concept of no one to change but self is the one I'm referring to. It is a very popular concept in the manifesting community, and only the die-hard fans of Neville know this. Also, all the people who are watching this right now and are aware of the law of attraction or have heard some bits about manifestation will greatly benefit from this as I will take you to a deeper understanding of the law. So, as the name suggests no one to change but ourselves, literally tells us that everyone and everything in this world is a mirror of ourselves. Metaphorically speaking, everyone that you meet in your reality is just like the mirror that you check every day before leaving the house. If your hair is not on point, what do you do? Do you use your hand and try to touch the mirror to change your reflection in it? Or do you speak angrily to the mirror to change the way you look? I know, you don't do this. You simply just adjust your hair by yourself, and the mirror reflects that back to you. In the same manner, you don't apply force to change someone. You don't have to yell at them or manipulate them in order to achieve some results. You just have to change yourself, and the results will follow. Now, the next question that will appear in your mind is about what to change and how to do it. First you need to understand, who are you? This will give you a glimpse of yourself. Are you this body? Do you think that? No, you are not your body. This is your body. You control this body. A long time ago, your height was just the length of your arm. You can have a look at your childhood clothes that you saved as memories, and you will get the answer. Now, the next question is, are you your name? Are you Billy? Are you Sam? No, you are not that. That's your name that your parents gave you at the time when you came into this physical world. So, question yourself. This will help you to discover yourself, and you will reach a point where you understand that you are the awareness. You are the consciousness. You only get aware of something. Right now you are aware of this video. In the next moment you may start creating stories about what you heard today, and you will be aware of it. So, everything changes, but the awareness remains. It never changes. It stays, but it has no name. It is. That's why Neville said that before you say something, you say I am, and that is your true nature. I hope I got you to the depth of the spiritual law and you might be getting goosebumps right now. So, what is the role of awareness? In my opinion, it just expands itself. It is expanding and expanding. It magnifies whatever is presented to it. So, if you get aware of an elephant, your mind will picture an elephant. It will start showing you pictures from your memory booklet about where you saw the elephant, facts about elephants, and it can even show you a friend to whom you lovingly say elephant. So you see, everything related to elephants pops up. Your friend is not an elephant. The statue you saw was not an elephant, but of an elephant. The cartoon you saw was not an elephant, but an animation of an elephant. You are calling it an elephant because your ancestors gave a name to a creature and passed it on to several generations, and now you see that creature as an elephant, attaching all the stories you heard about it. See how this video has bent towards elephants, and now you can't stop thinking about elephant. That is what your awareness does. Its work is to expand itself. If I start a conversation with you right now about a loving memory, you will start to recall it, and you will see people, things associated with it. If we talk about it for a few minutes, you will recall many of them, and suddenly, an emotion you call love will be experienced by you. If you stay longer in it, you will start seeing everything as lovely. You will fall in love. Now, my question to you is this, who changed itself from an elephant to love? You, only you, you did it. You saw it in your imagination. Also, imagination creates reality. So, if you imagine it with your full attention and concentration, your awareness will expand and expand and will manifest it for you. People are only a mirror to your assumptions. Whatever concepts you hold of them will show up through them. No one is changing but you. They are only reflecting it back. I know it is hard for you to affirm good things about someone that did bad things to you. Some of you can't even recall all the negative conversations you had with them in your mind when your relationship was great. So, there is nothing to lose. Just try it. If your reality is totally opposite to what you desire, just watch yesterday's video. You will find it in the playlist. Now, I think you might have got the answer about what to change and how to do it. You only need to change your awareness of being. You are the only one that is holding on to some concepts and experiencing them in your reality. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So, change the concept of yourself. Are you really a loser? Do you think that you have never won? Biologically, you were the only cell that won the race, and now you are here. See yourself in a different manner and you will get it. Also, if you desire to manifest a specific person, just change your perspective towards them. Have they forgotten about you? Will they remain the same way? No, they won't. They change every moment. 
Maybe they miss you to the core. Maybe they are thinking of getting back together. But you are just holding on to that story. That they don't love me, they will not talk to me. And what not. Allow awareness to bring that to you. Awareness only reflects back what you hold. It does not discriminate between lovely or unlovely things. So, start choosing it wisely. Every moment counts. I know this video might have been a bit long, but I wanted this message to be delivered. Start reading the books. You will understand every bit of the law. You can find the link to buy them in the comment section. Description. Comment below what clicked for you. I will meet you tomorrow with another wonderful nugget. So, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe for more such videos. Happy manifesting.